Hello, welcome to our channel Pioneers of Change Global Thousand where we will take you on a journey of life stories of those personalities of history who have made an everlasting mark. No wonder but Indian women along with Indian men are meant to create history. Their contribution to the society and nation is priceless and has inspired since ages. In this episode, we will be sharing you an inspiring tale of a legendary female ruler who transformed the kingdom of Malwa in the 18th century. In a time when women were not given the priority they deserved, Ahila Bai Holkar was a ray of hope who defined the odds to become one of the India's most revered rulers. She was born in 1725 in Chaundi village in Maharashtra. Women then did not go to school, but Ahilya's father taught her to read and write. She married Khande Rao Holkar of the Holkar dynasty of Indore at the age of 13 and became the queen of Maratha, ruled Malwa kingdom. Ahilya Devi's husband died in the Battle of Kumher in 1754. Twelve years later, her father-in-law, Malhar Holkar, also died. On many occasions, Ahilya Bai led the army herself from the front like a brave warrior, armed with bows and arrows on the elephant. The Peshwa granted her permission to take over in 1767 and Ahilya Bai proceeded to rule Malwa in a wise and sagacious manner for the next 28 years. Ahilya Bai's kingdom was primarily agrarian and she introduced many reforms to help increase crop production. She was focused on improving public infrastructure and constructing roads, buildings and religious structures. Her contribution to the development of Hindu temples is particularly noteworthy as she built more than 500 temples all over India. She constructed rest cottages, tanks and wells in locations ranging from the Himalayas to South Indian pilgrimage sites. She contributed to the construction, upkeeping and restoration of temples and supported festivals. Every sacred sites in India including Rameshwaram, Puri, Gaya, Dwarka and Omkareshwar and Badrinath owes something to Ahilya Bai Holkar. Ahilya Bai also encouraged education and established schools for girls, encouraging them to pursue their dreams. She was also a great patron of the arts and she commissioned many paintings and sculptures for temples and palaces. In 1996, to honor the memory of Ahilya Devi Holkar, Leading citizens of Indore instituted an annual award in her name to be bestowed on an outstanding public figure. Ahilya Bai turned Malwa into a prosperous land, starting with improvising the infrastructure of the place by building forts and roads and repairing huts. The Government of Republic of India issued a commemorative stamp in her honour on August 25, 1996. As a tribute to the great ruler, Indore Domestic Airport has been named Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar Airport. Similarly, Indore University has been christened Ahilya University Indore. From 1766 until she died in August 13, 1795, she inherited the throne and became one of the India's great women rulers, trained in both administrative and military matters by Malhar Rao. The warrior queen passed away at the age of 70. Centuries later, lives in the form of numerous temples and dharamshalas and an amount of public work she dedicated her life to. Devi Ahilya's legacy of good deeds, her dedication to religion and her policies served to enrich the city into the 21st century. Her powerful leadership, commitment to public service and religious tolerance make her an inspiring example of female empowerment and an icon of Maratha Empire. Her legacy still lives on in the minds and hearts of people of India. 
That's it for today. Hope it helped you learn more about Ahilya Bai Holkar and her life. Hope you have enjoyed this video. So, please do like, share and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for future notification and upcoming videos. Thank you.